Hello, and welcome to this video on Oracle Private Cloud Appliance. In this video, you will learn to mount a file system on Oracle Private Cloud Appliance. Instance users of Unix type operating systems, such as Linux and Oracle Solaris, can use OS commands to mount and access file systems. Mount targets serve as network access points for file systems. After your mount target is assigned an IP address, you can use it together with the export path to mount the file system. On the instance from which you want to mount the file system, you will need to install an NFS client package and create a mount point. When you mount the file system, the mount point effectively represents the root directory of the file storage file system, allowing you to write files to the file system from the instance. A typical use case is the mounting of an exported file system from an NFS mount target within the local network to any compute instance running on Oracle Private Cloud Appliance. We've covered the basics, so let's begin. I've already installed the OCI CLI, so please refer to the video Configure the OCI CLI. In addition, a mount target must be created before creating a file system, so please refer to the video Managing Mount Targets on Oracle Private Cloud Appliance. A file system was already created in a previous video called Creating a File System. Let's verify that the name of the file system my-fs-01 still exists. From the command line, run the command oci-fs-file-system-list-availability-domain followed by the availability domain name dash dash compartment dash id followed by the compartment ID. The results from running the command shows that the file system named my-fs-01 exists. We now need a list of available mount targets. Run the command oci-fs mount-target list dash dash availability dash domain followed by the availability domain dash dash compartment dash ID followed by the compartment ID. From the results, we can see that there is one mount target named my-mt-01. Let's now obtain the mount target ID. To find the mount target, run the following command, oci-fs mount-target get dash dash mount-target dash ID followed by the mount target osid. From the results, we now have the ID of the mount target. Let's now return to the web GUI to find our file system export path. From the navigation menu, click on File Storage, then File Systems. Next, click on the my-fs-01 file system, and at the bottom, click on either export. Click on the Show to show the full export path, and then click Copy to copy the export path. Returning to the command line interface next, we need the mount target IP address by running the following command OCI network private dash IP get dash dash private dash IP dash ID followed by the mount target IP OSID. From the result, the mount target IP address is 192.168.1.2. A compute instance was already created, so please see the video Create a Compute Instance on Oracle Private Cloud Appliance. From the command line, again, use the ssh command to log into the instance where you want to mount the file system. Next, install the NFS client using the command sudo rpm i nfs dash utils dash 2.3.3 dash 57 dot el8 dot x86 underscore 64 dot rpm. After the installation is complete, create a directory that will be used as the mount point. Use the command sudo mkdir dash p slash mnt slash mydir. Let's now mount the file system. Run the command sudo mount-t nfs-o nf 
SVERS equals the version, comma, no SUID, followed by the IP address, colon, slash, export, slash, path, slash, followed by your mount point. After mounting, run the following command to view the mounted system, df-h. As you can see, the new file system was mounted. Let's now test our access on the file system by writing a new file with the following command, sudo touch slash mnt slash mydir slash myfile. Verify that we can access the file system and view the file by changing directories with cd slash mnt slash mydir and running the ls command to list files. As you can see, the new file system was written to the newly mounted file system. Let's return to our previous location by running the command cd dash. Finally, to unmount the file system, simply run the command sudo umount slash mnt slash mydir. To verify the file system was unmounted, again run the command df dash h. As you can see, the mounted file system is no longer listed. For more information, please check our additional information on Oracle Private Cloud Appliance documentation or in the Oracle Private Cloud Appliance Learning Library. This concludes the video. Thank you for watching. <laughs>